industry. Hello guys and gals out there in YouTube, Facebook land, every place else, and uh, watching this on uh, geekycool.com. We are here at, uh, we're actually here the night before um, Hi, Planet Comic Con. This is Brian. I'm Larry, geekycool.com. We're going to talk Mike's a little right bit. Mike's right over there. Say hi to Mike, everybody. Hi, Mike. So we're going to talk a little bit about Planet Comic Con, our, our, what we're hoping to see, especially day one, because tomorrow is day one. Always an exciting day. And uh, we, uh, a lot of times on day one, we go and find comic book artists and creators to get signatures because it's a lot easier on day one on Friday than it is on Saturday to do. And some of them aren't there on Sunday. So, and sometimes on Sunday, there's panels and everything else going on. And there's also a bunch of panels coming on. Um, so, Brian, what are you excited about with Planet Comic Con? Anybody excited you're going to see anything you want to do? Um... Excited about people like Jim Starlin, Keith yes, Giffen. Yes. Um, I uh, classics. Right. I'm I'm a little disappointed that there aren't some of the newer mm. people here. Uh, you got Doug Doug Mankey and and Patrick Gleason, which are kind of that new breed. Cullen right. Bunn is obviously here because he's just down the road in Springfield with us. And, and Cullen Bunn's amazing. So yeah. I'm glad he's here. So. Yeah. And uh, but unlike last year, which is kind of interesting because this is the 20th year. It is. It is not uh they don't have any big stars coming in on the comic book side this uh, year right. like last year they had snyder and capullo right. and tom king and clay Mann and and um i just a little disappointed arthur adams from the marvel mm -hmm. side was here right. he and, certainly was. and part of that's because WonderCon's this week so WonderCon is this week in california is it is it la that it's at or is it san francisco uh it's la week? okay it's la it so is. la's having their big convention the same weekend which is a bummer especially on the comic book side we do have some celebrity guests that are going to be here mm -hmm. we got william shatner yeah uh, that's a pretty big name for the 20th anniversary uh carrie ellis um and some other people from princess bride um who else is it uh, anybody else um uh, uh the actress who plays Ginny weasley is going to be that's here right. and, and, and the, the weasley twins yeah. are going right. to be here that's right. so that's going to be kind of yeah. cool harry potter fans um um, some of the people from the CW shows are going to be here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Panna Baker. Yeah, and... Panna Baker. Big Disney star for you Disney fans out there. From, right, uh, she Disney was from, from here, uh, Sky High. From she was Sky, in Sky High. High. She was in Sky High. Yeah. So she, she was in a lot Unfortunately, of I do games. know also that she was in at least one Hallmark Channel Christmas <laughs> show. Uh -huh. Because you know how... Everyone in my family except me loves the Hallmark Channel Christmas specials. Ah, yes, they do. Yeah, I have even, two even weeks of hell in July and yeah. six weeks of hell end of November to December. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so a lot of big celebrities. There's not as many comic book celebrities. Now, there are, like we said, some classic comic book creators going to be here. Um, Chris, Chris Claremont's going to be here again. You mentioned Jim Starlin. Um, Strzinko is going to be here. Strzinko. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Mc McLeod is going to be here. Bob McLeod, who did a lot of the writing um, on some of, uh, I'm sorry, did a lot of the drawing on a lot of the new mutants, early stuff with, with, um, with Chris Claremont. Also did some Spider-Man stuff. Mark Bagley's um, going to be here, which yeah. is he's a huge uh, Bagley yeah. fan. Yeah, yeah. A lot Dennis of Cohen is going to be here yes. from the Question. Right. Um, you, you mentioned Jose Lopez Garcia. I'm uh, sorry. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a name. I, I always get tripped up on that. And well, for uh, a big artist, you need a big name. That, that's true. And he is a big time artist. Now, I do have a funny thing that I'm bringing for him to sign because I, he did a lot more DC stuff, and I don't have as much DC. I know you're much more of a DC mm -hmm. guy. But uh, I'll show the group what I got here because this is probably the work that he's not going to love that I brought because it, it did not do as well. It's called, I think this is awesome. It's called Atari Force. It was from the 80s, from what, the early 80s when Atari was a big thing. I got one and two issue for him to sign. And... I just love it. I thought that was it was a great sci-fi um, comic book. I think it was really underappreciated, but it I had the video. Well. I had the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. The video game. Of it. Yeah, I always thought that was cool. I never had the video game, but I always thought it was cool. Um, any comics you're you're excited that you're going to get signed? Um, I've got Cosmic Odyssey for Jim Starlin, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. even though I have. Uh, 
um, um, Infinity Gauntlet number one and all that kind of stuff, everybody gets a copy of that signed. So I brought one of Jim Starlin's first things he did for uh, DC that when he went over to DC and did it on his own called Gilgamesh 2. Yep, yep. Um, it's a prestige format comic and that'll be fun to see whether or not he's like, no one ever brings this to me. Right, but, right. Exactly. But I've got that and... Um, now, you are getting some things signed that probably everybody brings for Keith Giffen's. I am. I got Ambush Bug. Yeah. The, the Ambush first Bug. Ambush Bug series. Um, and yeah. I've got the first issue of the Legion of Superheroes reboot that he did, the five-year jump. Right, right. And um, I've got and um, Justice League number one. Which and, is a pretty good one. Yeah, there you and go. Justice League number 50, which was his last issue. Oh, uh, the see, there you go. Stars. There you go. Yeah, and I, I also have some Giffen stuff because Ambush Bug is a great character. I just love Ambush Bug also. So I've got the, the first issue of the miniseries. I didn't bring the whole thing, but I did bring um, Ambush Bug Zero, which is kind of making fun of Batman Year One and those. And then I've also brought issue seven of the six issue miniseries because, of course, it be Keith Giffen. Skip would number do. seven. He's we waited six. four months. Oh, or, no, it was, it was skip number six. Skip number six, and it was a year coming out. It was a full year when it came out, so I had to bring that. And I also brought an issue of Legion that I had. A lot of the Legion stuff I have is my father's Legion stuff, so I don't have access to it without going to his house. And if you're um, wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually cataloging my comics. And uh, um, I'll give a plug later to the software we use. Please it's do. Not a plug. Software. We're not paid by them or anything like that, but, but the software's awesome. But we would love awesome, so. to have them as a sponsor. <laughs> For Geeky Cool, for the videos, anything they want to do, they're great software. We would promote the snot out of them because they're awesome. Uh, the software is made in Denmark, so I don't think they're probably watching right now. But not yet, but maybe they will later. I'm hoping somebody sees this and, and finds them. And I wish it was out. live and we had feedback. We, we could have, have our, we can have our fans live. yelling, Mike, Mike. We do have Mike. this live. This is actually live on Facebook and YouTube right now. So we're doing this live. Um, some of the things that I'm excited about is um, with, with Chris Claremont's one of my favorite writers because I was mm -hmm. a big X-Men fan in the 80s and also he did a little known offshoot called The New Mutants. I had him sign a New Mutants number one last year along with my very first X-Men issue which was the introduction of Kitty Bride. This year X-Men New Mutants number 18 the first issue of the Demon Bear Saga. This is what they were trying to base the movie off of that may Demon or may not be. Bear come. Saga? The Demon Bear. The Demon Bear is the best known <laughs> New Mutant story. This is this is actually where the New Mutants really go into a uh, horror comic with this. So superpowers with horror comic. Hmm. I also have a um, special edition X-Men, which is a reprint of the X-Men Giant, which basically Claremont rebooted the X-Men, gave them new characters in life from a group that was not going anywhere. Basically, just showing reprints to being the most popular Marvel comic book group of the 80s and most of the 90s. And Kitty Pride and Wolverine. My favorite X Men is Kitty Pride. And this is her team up with Wolverine, who you don't really expect she's going to jive with because he's kind of a hard, cold killer at this level, at, at this time in it. And Kitty Pride is the sweetest, cutest thing ever. It's kind of like Terror from the Teen Titans, but she's actually nice. <laughs> It was horrible. She was just misunderstood. She tried to kill them. She was the Judas. <laughs> well, she was the Judas. She's on, you're only a Judas if you betray them at the very end. She betrayed them from the very beginning. Well, that's true. That's true. Amanda Connor and her husband, Jimmy Palmiotti. Jimmy Palmiotti will be here. Those are, are pretty big names. And I've got several things for Amanda Connor to sign. Um,. Let's see, anything else that I'm oh, missing? Well. Of course, uh, oh, Steve McNevin, big time Marvel artist. Uh, Amazing Spider Man, Civil War, uh, Return of Wolverine, um, Marvel Legacy. I, I've got some really cool stuff for him to sign, along with Bagley and Jason Aaron, and of course, Paul and Bun. So, we've got a lot of stuff. I've got two of these boxes to sign comics. And I will be, you know, we'll be covering the convention, but we're also going to be doing fan stuff. 
I don't know where Brian went. I guess he went to get I'd his be right back. I thought I would bring him he, he, He's going to do his uh, little, um, after these messages, we'll be right back, little sketch. <laughs> Mike could fill in now, but uh, Mike's now naked running around <laughs> over here. So, say hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, are you excited about anything, Mike? What do you want to see tomorrow at the convention? You can be the disembodied voice. Yeah, this is the voice of, not God, this is the voice of Mike. I'm excited about watching this as an audience member. All right, all right. Yeah, Mike didn't want to join us. I tried to strong arm him. I tried to get him in headlock. And he's you know just who you didn't him. mention? Is Babs Tar was a late addition. Yeah, yeah Babs Tar. From Batgirl, that's where I've got yep, stuff yep. for her. So I've, I've got some stuff for her to sign. Um, Freddie Williams, yep. uh, the second, who did JSA All Stars for yep, DC. Yep. That was one of the series that I've got for him. Um, and the the one I was surprised because I didn't realize he was going to be here is, and I'm going to butcher Did his you, last that? name. I hate that. Oliver Copiel, or uh, Coipel. Um, he was the artist for the Magic Order that he did oh, with yeah. Mike Millar. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've got all of those and love them. They yeah. are not for <laughs> young kids. There's a bit of a strong R. So, so... When you're saying that, you're telling me not all comic books are written for kids, oh, unlike uh, no. unlike what a certain comedian said a while back. Oh, uh, we don't. Even, let's not even get started about that idiot. <laughs> and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Stanley uh, didn't deserve that. And um, nor did it his fans. So, so anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm. Um, let's. Well, uh, um, maybe that's. Um, let's see, panel-wise, what are we excited about seeing tomorrow panel-wise coming up? So well, You've got some other stuff. Go ahead and show yeah, me what you here's, got here. Here's a cover. Yeah. That is tame compared to what's inside of that book. <laughs> um, but amazing, amazing story. Uh, Mark Miller did a, a, a really good job on the writing on that. I very much enjoyed it. Lots of nice twists all the way mm -hmm. through. And... Uh, um, uh, excited to see Patrick Gleason. He was there last year. He yep. was great. And then I realized I've got other comics for him. I've got some Green Lantern Corps when they rebooted that book. Um, and, um, of course, his Young Justice book. He's doing the artwork there is really, really cool. Yeah, that's like, what you're I'm saying. Very much enjoying so, that. Yeah. It is the classic Superboy, um, the classic Kid Flash. Mm -hmm. Bart right. is back. Right. And um, and all kinds of stuff. So, so if you have watched the Young Justice cartoon, and you were a fan of it like we were, but disappointed when it got canceled. and Which it's back to, now. It's part of DC Universe. DC Universe if you want to pay the monthly fee mm -hmm. to DC. And, and I've not heard how that is currently. I, I know that I've heard great things about um, some of the shows over there. But, and it's uh, not just shows. You get digital cop. You can read comics digitally. You don't mm -hmm. add them to your collection, but you can read comics. Um, and they don't have everything out there, but a lot of their comics have been digitized, and you can read them. Um, so with and, your subscription to right. this show, you also get that. And I didn't realize that because yeah. that actually does make a difference. Because just to watch the shows, I was like, I don't think so. I'm going to pay the money. Yeah, for there's that. more to them than just if, those TV if, shows. If you're going to watch more than the TV shows, and I knew they had some of the movies, you could watch. The old television shows, you can watch the old movies, you can watch the original Superman movie on it, but I just wasn't sure that was for me. But uh, but yeah, that, that would make a difference if you can get some free comics. Sometimes, as a fan, you just want to read the comics. You don't need to collect it. You may be like, I'm interested, but I'm not so interested. I want to put this in another box that's going to sit in the closet or at Brian's house. And... Uh, and collect dust while waiting for, you know, magically for somebody to sign it for you. Which is cool when you do get the signs. That's the one problem with the digital comics, I think, is... Because they've made it where they're very readable on device now. But being able to get a signature on it at a convention, that's not possible. So that's kind right. of the downfall of right. that. But if you start reading it there and you discover you like it, you a lot of times go back and get the back issues. Unless, of course, they have some sort of big introduction character that, you know, makes that back issue work. Five hundred dollars or something crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, how about the panels tomorrow? Because we're gonna tend some panels to be able to report on while we're there, along with walking the floor. But what panel wise are you excited about? Oh, um, let's see. There is, of course, the app oh, cool. is taking a little bit to come yeah, down yes. here. But um, I am. 
There was a... Well, there's a Remembering Stanley panel, right. which is interesting. Yeah, um, it is. And there's a William Shatner Q&A panel tomorrow. Now, that's which... only a 30-minute panel. Most of the panel is yeah. with the stars or an hour presentation. So I'm thinking he's going to have another one, but I, I haven't verified that. I thought that was interesting that it was only a 30-minute panel with, with him. Because I'd like to see Shatner. Shatner's 88 years old, so if, if you are a fan of Star Trek or a fan of William Shatner and you don't have his autograph, this is the weekend to come get it. It's going to cost you a little bit of money to get in. It's going to cost you money to pay to get his autograph. But the man is 88. Don't wait till he passes away like Stan Lee did and regret that you didn't get an autograph. All right. There's a Cross the Spider-Verse, which yes. I'm interested in. Mark Bagley is going to be there, which that, I I'm, always I'm liked him as there, yes. yes. And there's a mm-hmm. Comics from Space from Legion to Guardians, which is Jason mm-hmm. Aaron and Colin Bunn and Keith Giffen and Jim Starlin, right. which, which still have... Figured because out of the cosmic connection. Late, well, but if it's later in the day, because I thought he was only Saturday and Sunday. And that may be true. Yeah, maybe I, he's I don't coming know. in just later. You're right. I'm not sure. Maybe he's coming in later. He's not going to be on yeah. the floor. Um, and Saturday, there's a Defining the DC Comic Book mm-hmm. with Amanda Connor and Patrick Gleason and Doug Mankey, which that some great artists, and I'll be going to that one. Um, there's a Michael Rosenbaum, Tom Welling, and Dean Cain yeah. uh, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, two people from Smallville, one from from Wallace and Clark, yep. showing up talking about playing Superman and Flex on, on television, which is kind of a cool thing. So, yeah. yeah. And there's a VIP, oh, that's a VIP session. I probably won't be going to that one because I'm not going to go pay to see anyone. Um, <laughs> DC CWverse, um, and that's the one that's got uh, Danielle Pennebaker. Oh, and John Wesley Shipp is coming. That's right, that's that. right. The, Forgot about that. Original Flash from the 90s Flash, also on the new Flash series, is Earth 2 Flash, also known as Jay Garrick. So, yes. Or I think Earth 31 from the crossover series. Oh, is it? Okay, so I thought he was from a different Earth. Was he from a different Earth this year? I haven't seen the crossover yet this year, but yes. And then Sunday, um, Keith Giffen and some others are in a, a series called Making Good Guys Making good bad guys. Yeah, and that's Keith Giffen, Fabian Nietzsche, uh, Fabian Jim Starlin. Is one that I miss saying. He's an. Excellent I have no guy. idea who yeah. Ian McCraig is or Frank Thierry, but they may be Marvel people that I'm just not aware of. Yeah. What's it say? He's from Glasgow. Well, that should be fun hearing. No one will be able to understand what he says because he's Scottish and he'll talk like he's <laughs> got a mouthful of Marvel. Unless he's an actor, then you'll talk in really good English. But uh, 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 yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so that one sounds like a good one yeah, for yeah. for Sunday. And then Colin Bunn has one um, with Colin, Chris Car- Claremont, and Steve McNiven on time travel and social injustice: why the X Men matter. That should be. Yeah, that is interesting. I agree. Yeah, the X Men have always been, you know, kind of breaking through those barriers, uh, talking about racial issues in a different way so yeah Yeah. and uh, now taking it further so all right i think that's all we've got for right now unless there's anything you want to add for tomorrow i mean doors open at one o'clock uh will call opens at 11 for friday saturday's time is is it 10 i believe 10 a.m um and then sunday and if you're going to come be aware that there is a ncaa men's uh, Sweet 16 mm-hmm. regional game going on here, or the games are going on in Kansas City. Right, right. So it's going to be a busy weekend, and parking should be... <laughs> because it, the games are downtown also, just yeah. like what the comic convention is uh, with Planet Comic Con. It is their 20th year, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, you're right, the parking can be a problem. Um, so know that, plan that ahead of time. Also, if you're going to try to come... like one of the days and get in line come early because those lines grow along quickly to get in so you want to get it's going to be raining and cold like they're talking about you may be standing outside so right and that's very possible um i think that covers it for now just uh, keep tuned because we'll be doing some more videos and of course we'll be posting articles about the different sessions about meeting people probably meeting different artists and creators so we'll be posting different things. It's always fun to walk the floor because you never know what you're going to find up there. 
There's going to be awesome cosplaying going on. Okay. And, uh, you know, Mike will, will hopefully get dressed by then, not be running around naked at the con. I hate when he gets play. I hate when he gets arrested, though. He's playing um, the character from Mystery Men. The Invisible Kid. Invisible, when he takes right, off his clothes. Right, right. No, his clothes. right. <laughs> I know I'm not seeing him now. <laughs> so. Well, you close your eyes every time you look that way. <laughs> All right, for GeekyCool.com, I'm Larry, and this is Brian. We're out of here. Bye, guys. Maybe, if I can actually find the thing that says stop. You get it, you get it. Oh, so you gotta hit yes there. <laughs> All right.